Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Nkolisi Nube. Uh, I'm here just to give an update based on the questions that we've been getting from Zimbabweans who are applying for the mainstream South African visa or those who want to move from the Zimbabwe exemption permit to mainstream South African visas. Uh, you'll know that it's been a while since we last spoke about this because uh, we've been focusing on other issues but we keep getting questions from people who applied for waivers uh, who are still awaiting their outcome uh, there are many others who have been granted the waivers but they don't know what to do and they don't know the next move that they should engage in so we are here to respond to their questions because there are many who have been asking what they should do next but before we go ahead uh, i would like to request that you subscribe to this channel you like this video and you share it but also look us up on facebook uh, we have a page there avg news you can also ask your questions there on the timeline or you can inbox us uh, on facebook then we will respond to your questions uh, because uh, we may not have time to continue uh, updating uh, on YouTube but of course if there are questions we will continue to respond to them so the first question is um, how long does it take for one who applied for a waiver to get it or to get uh, a response from the Department of Home Affairs uh, usually or let me say by the set standards it usually takes or it should take between four months and seven months for an adjudication to be done on a waiver application but because there are a number of uh, log gems that the department faces uh, including uh, a number of applications that have nothing to do with the ZEP because you'll know that the, although there is a dedicated team that is dealing with the ZEP applications there are also other uh, applications from other people who are not on ZEP who keep on applying for these waivers from different countries so it takes a bit of time for the Home Affairs Department to adjudicate there are also a number of uh, outstanding applications there is a, a backlog of several other applications for different types of documents with the Home Affairs and the Home Affairs Department is a bit short staffed so it might take or as it has taken already a, a lot more uh, more months there are people who have applied for we have had a year having applied for the waivers we are still waiting they haven't received any uh, our advice is you can track your application online or you can visit uh, vfs department to try and uh, get an update uh, if you can or you email them or you can even call them but you always have to know that it takes a bit of time but usually it takes between four and seven months uh, then what does somebody have to do when they have applied for a waiver and they've been granted it uh, you will know that a waiver is not a, a permit the reason why you applied for a waiver is so that you can qualify or you can be able to apply for a visa that is a temporary residence visa which is what we call a permit without meeting certain requirements as per the immigration act so once you've been granted that waiver it means that you can now go ahead and apply for a temporary residence visa uh, and for those who have already applied or have been assisted to apply when you pay you need to be very careful because there are a number of people that have paid but used the wrong references so when you are going to pay you need to quote the correct reference uh, you will note that when you apply for a waiver your reference number begins with trw which is temporary residence waiver then when you apply for a, a permit now the reference number begins with TRV for temporary residence visa. There are some who have quoted the wrong reference when paying for a temporary residence visa and they have 
quoted TR at up instead of TRV, you need to be very, very careful with that. Uh, if you don't know exactly what to do, you need to get into the bank, ask them to direct you. They will assist you. It is their job to assist you and they will definitely assist you. Uh, that is what we had today. But if you do have more questions, you can use the contact uh, the, the comments section underneath this video to ask your questions. You can as well look us up on Facebook on AVG News. We will respond. You can look us up on Twitter, AV Global News. Again, you can ask questions and we will respond. But for now, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it.